Okay, so what we need to do is create a Firebase account so we can have the authentication on our application. So if we go on to firebase.google.com and click get started, essentially what we need to do is create a new project or if you have not created a project with Firebase before, you just need to register. I have registered with my Google account, so all that's all you need. If we click add project, this project is going to be named the Amazon clone dash YT and click continue and continue again. I'm just selecting my account. So this will now create your Firebase project. Whilst that's installing, if we go back into our code here, I have an error. So the error is in login user. So if I hover over it, it says argument of type mouse event is not assignable to type form event. So the way to fix that is on this E here, all you need to do is where we are creating the login user, I'm just going to delete this and then go down back to my login function. So login user here. And if I hover over the E now, it says react mouse event HTML button element. So if we copy this and where we have the error now, if we paste in the TypeScript type, this should now correct itself, which it has done. So we don't have any errors in here. So this one is a mouse event, and then this one is a form event. So now if I save all, that is working correctly. Also, our project has created and it's ready. So if we click continue, and now what we want to do is we want to, first of all, connect our application to Firebase. So there's a few steps that we need to do in order to do this. So first of all, if we click onto web here, we need to register our application. So this is just going to be Amazon Chrome. And you could set up Firebase hosting, but because we are using Next.js, we will be using Versal for this. So we don't need the Firebase hosting. And now click register app. So now here you can see there are a few steps that we need to do. What I want to do is it says npm install Firebase. So we're using yarn. So it's going to be yarn add Firebase. And now what we need to do is we need to have a folder that handles all of our third party applications. So what I want to do is at the package JSON level, I'm going to create a new folder in here. This will be called live and inside here, I'm going to create a new folder once again called Firebase and inside Firebase, I'm going to create an index.ts file like so. So now all I need to do in my index.ts file is copy this here. So once you create your own project, this will automatically be generated. So if I paste this in, what I want to do is delete all of these comments because we don't need them. And I also want to delete get analytics because I'm not using that in this application. So now we have initialized our Firebase application in our next project. So what I also want to do is click continue to console. And in here, we have a build dropdown and the one we want is the authentication. So if you click that and click get started. So now we have a few sign in methods that we could use. The only one we want to use in this build is the email slash password. So if we click on that and all we need to do is enable like so. And you could also email link as passwordless sign in, but we're going to just leave that for now. And if we click save, that's all we need to do to get it all set up. You could further enhance your login process and have multi-factored authentication in. But for this build, we're just going to be using the email password sign-in feature. So all we need to do now is get the authentication into our application. So the way to connect our authentication is to use a helper function called get auth. So we will do that now. So export const of auth is equal to get auth which is from Firebase. So get auth and inside get auth, we want to pass in our app, which we have created just above here. So essentially what we are doing is we are initializing our application, passing in this Firebase config object, which connects to our project that we have created here. And then what we want to do is get auth from the app. So now we just need to import this. So import get auth from Firebase slash auth like so. Now, if I save all and do yarn run dev, and what I also want to do is if we go into our authentication here, we should now have a list of users in here. So at the minute we don't have any users, but we will create some now. 
So now our application is connecting to Firebase. We have access to the auth object in here. So what I want to do now is go back into my login form and in login user this time, what we want to do is log in the user if there is one. So all we do here is call in a function from Firebase. So it's called sign in with email and password, as you can see here. So we're importing that from Firebase slash auth. And this takes in three arguments, which is the auth, email, and password, like so. And we can't find the auth for now, so we need to import that from our lib folder. So lib slash Firebase, like so. And then when we call the sign in with email and password, this returns a promise. So it will be sign in with the email and password dot then, which also returns a user credential. So user credential. And what we want to do is console log the user credential. So console log just to see what we are getting back from the user credential dot user. So now what I also want to do is handle the error with a catch block. So underneath we just would have a catch block with error and the error code and error message will be logged out in a console log just here. So now if I fill in my credentials and click sign in, we now get an error saying Firebase error or slash user not found. Code is user not found. So in our users, we don't have a user. So what we need to do is create the user. So let's create the or register the user now. So essentially the way to create or register a user is pretty much the same. So I'm just going to copy this block here. And now instead of sign in with email and password, we're going to bring in create user with email and password. So if I command space this and we import it at the top here from Firebase auth, if I now save, again, passing in the auth email and password, what we are doing is logging the user credential dot user. So in here now, if I click create your Amazon account, it says here password should be at least six characters long. So we need to improve the password. So I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, like so, and then click create. And now what has happened is this has created a user for me. So this is a user object now, as you can see, my email is now generating and is populating into the user object. What we can do is handle these errors here. So the way to handle the error would be do an alert or you could improve that. So what I'm going to do is delete this and do an alert instead of a console log. So we know that there is an error. So as you can see here, Firebase error, both email already in use. So we know that is working and we can do the same for the login as well. So if I paste that in and we'd also don't need the error code anymore, so we can delete that as well. So now that we have this user object for register user and login user, we need to do something with it. So what you could do is first of all, we could navigate to the homepage saying that we have successfully logged in. So now that we have access to the user information, we need to now access this across the application. So this is where we will introduce React Redux and Redux Toolkit so that we have access to the user state across the application. So now that we're getting the user information, that is good. But what we also need to do is we need to have access to this user information across the app. So the way we would do that is in here, we would have some sort of global state management, which is in our case going to be React Redux and Redux Toolkit so that we can access this object in the components that we need to. But before we do that, what I want to do is when we do successfully log in, we want to redirect the user to the homepage. So all I'm going to do is do router.push to the slash route, which is the homepage. And we need to define router now. So just after the use state, I'm going to call or declare router, which is equal to use router. And we need to control space, import this from next slash router, like so. And now if I copy this, so router.push in the register user function, also in the login user function as well, this will now redirect once we have logged in to the homepage. What we could also do is decouple this component into its own logic file. So the logic will have these in a separate helper function, and then we can also import them in. But what we will do is just keep it as it is, as this is the login portion complete.
and also to verify that we have our user registered in our Firebase. If we go into our Firebase authentication, you can now see here we have a user generated. So next, what we are going to do is we're going to set up and install React Redux and Redux Toolkit with Next.js. 